Grade 6 math number 11.2, Angle Relationships, Pairs, and Measures. Adjacent angles have a common vertex and a common ray, but have no common interior points. So here's the common vertex for 1 and 2. It's right here. It's this center where it's, these two lines cross. And they have a common ray. Between 1 and 2, they share this line. See? So that's the common ray from this point in the center coming outward. The word adjacent means adjoining or neighboring. So if we look at this, angles 1 and 2 are adjacent, angles 2 and 3 are adjacent, angles 3 and 4 are adjacent, and angles 4 and 1 are adjacent. See that? They're neighbors. And they share that common ray that's in between them. Vertical angles are formed opposite each other when two lines intersect. So Angles 1 and 3 are vertical, and 2 and 4 are vertical to each other. See? They're opposite each other. They have the same measure. Vertical angles have the same measure. So angle 2 and angle 4 have the exact same measure, and angle 1 and angle 3 have the exact same measure. Angles that have the same measure are congruent. So you're going to see congruent a lot in geometry. See, angles 1 and 3 are congruent. It means equal, okay? So, let's take a look at this. We use a lowercase m for measure when we write the measure of an angle. When you see an m and the little angle sign, that means measure of an angle. The measure of the angle ABC equals 40 degrees. ABC. And see, the B is the vertex. The middle letter is always the vertex. And then that lets the person know that the B is the vertex. See? So the measure of angle ABC is 40 degrees. It's a 40 degree angle inside of here. When two angle measures are added together and we get a sum total of 90 degrees, here's 30 and 60 or 45 and 45. So when they total 90 degrees, the angles are complementary angles. They're complementary to each other. See? These two 45 degree angles make one right angle, don't they? And this 30 degree and this 60 degree are complementary and they don't have to be next to each other. They don't have to be adjacent. They equal 90 degrees together, and they are complements of each other. So you can remember the C in complement is like C for corner. That makes 90 degrees for a 90 degree angle, see? All right. When two angle measures total 180 degrees, that's like a half circle, okay? We have supplementary angles. So a 50 and a 130 totals 180. We have a straight line we have a half circle of 180 degrees. And again, they don't have to touch each other. They don't have to be adjacent. But a 105 degree angle and a, and a 75 degree angle are supplementary angles to each other because they total 180. So you can think S for supplementary is like S for straight line. See? And that'll make you remember 180. Now we can figure out a measure by knowing. See? We get these memorized. Right angles are 90 degrees, complementary are 90 degrees, supplementary are 180. Now, by knowing these facts, we could find out the measures of angles. Here's a right angle, and it's kind of tilted. You can see it's a right angle if I tilt my camera. But if this is a 40 degree angle, then what must that one be? Well, it must be 50, because it's a right angle. We can see the box, and so they must be complementary, and they must equal 90 degrees. So what does the 40 need to be 90? It needs a 50. It's got to be a 50 degree angle. Here's one. We know this is a straight angle right here, and this is 145. So what could this one be? You do 180 minus 145, and you get 35. It must be 35 because they're supplementary. They must equal 180. See? And we can have angles that are both congruent and complementary. See that? These are both, both 45 degrees and they're complementary. They equal 90 degrees, see? All right, look at these angles. These are vertical angles that are congruent, and these are vertical angles that are congruent. And when we go this way, we can see it totals... Whoops, this is supposed to be 60. I'm sorry. I put 80, and it was supposed to be 60. When it goes this way, they total 180 degrees. These two total 180 degrees. These two total 180 degrees, and these two total 180 degrees. See? So it's like going all the way around. As long as you have a straight line, they're supplementary. See? 
Now look at this triangle. We have supplementary angles of 140 and 40, and 140 and 40, and it even goes 140 and 40 this way. See? See that? And it goes 140 and 40 that way, and it goes 140 and 40 that way, and that way. And so do these, because of the fact that this line is coming through here, and this is a 40 degree angle, if that's a 40 degree angle, then all the other angles must be congruent to these other angles, because one is, see? And then we measure this one, and it's 180 degree, going for a supplementary angle. So if this is 100 degrees, we know that's 80, see? It's just a little bit bigger than a 90 degree angle, just a smidge. See? Just 10 degrees more. All right. What if we have a problem like this? We know this is a 90 degree angle because we see the box here. And if this is a 23 degree angle and this one says it's 62 plus n, what could it be? Well, it must be 90 degrees. So we add the 23 and the 62 and we get 85. And we know it needs 5 more to be 90, so we know that n must be 5 because 62 plus n plus the 23 has got to be 90. See? Does that make sense? Same thing if we do subtraction. We know this must be 180 degrees because it's a straight angle. Well, if that's 53, we do 180 for the straight angle and we take away the 53. So now there's 127 left. Well, this says n minus 3 is this angle. And this angle must equal 127. So n must be 130, because if you have n and you minus 3 and then you get 127, you must have 127 plus 3 to get to the end, see? Because it took away 3. So if this is 127, it must be 3 more than that to be able to take the 3 away. See? So n equals 130. Look at this one. It's a straight angle, so we know it must be 180. And so it says this is one is right here is 140, and this one is 2x. Well, we take the 180 and we subtract the 140, and we're left with 40. So this is 40. So 2 times what is 40? We do 40 divided by 2 because it's the inverse operation of multiplication, which is what this is. And 40 divided by 2 is 20. So 2 times 20 is 40. So we know that x equals 20. See? It's like detective work, isn't it? You could do this. Just take it a little step at a time. I know this is a lot to take in. This was all in one unit, too. Can you believe that? But watch the video again if you have to. Take notes. That's why I like to talk, like, right now at the end of the video, because I figure you're taking notes and you're zooming in or you're freeze framing it or whatever, but take notes, write down these guys because these are important to help you figure out what's going on. Right angles are 90, complementary are 90, and supplementary are 180, okay? That's gonna help you with a lot of it. And know that if it's a vertical angle, they're, con they're equal, they're congruent, okay? And adjacent angles, okay, are side by side, they're neighbors, okay? I'll see you next video. Keep trying, hang in there, bye.